So that's how the whole series gets started. They robbed this guy, and between him and Mojo, between Nikki and Mojo, they robbed this guy, and it sparks a mob war. Now, Nikki's problem was his family wasn't getting the respect he thought they deserved. Mojo's problem is that he's somewhat psychotic. <laughs> In that somewhat, <laughs> somewhat psychotic, mildly psychotic. He's like fam- very family oriented. If you do something against somebody in my family, I go out and kill everybody in your family. It's, it's very straightforward with him. Either you're his friend or you're his enemy, you know? And so they get together, they rob this guy, and then things happen. So that's the first book. The second book, which is why I actually wrote the whole thing was that now Morris has to leave town because of everything with the mob war and everything. He gets out of town. He's becoming an international criminal. He's into arms dealing and everything else. You know, working. He's, a, he's an enforcer for the mob for his friend, Nikki. He's an arms dealer because they have their own lives. They have their own criminal en- enterprises. And someone kidnaps his daughter. And that brings him back to New York to find out who kidnapped their daughter, and revenge. Revenge is the two main themes to the whole killer series. Revenge is one. Friendship is the other. And so, not killing. Yeah. yeah <laughs> no, not actually killing. Killing's a side product. Okay, got it. <laughs> of the friendship and of the revenge. So that these makes two sense. guys are thick as thieves, as they say. And so they they will do anything for each other. And that's what makes this whole thing go because they will do anything for each other. So that's what most people don't realize about them. Because one guy's black, the other guy's Italian, and they figure that they're going to go against each other at some part. But they don't. They never do. They are no matter what each one does, the other one always got his back. Got it. Okay. So do you know of or can think of any books that are out there, other authors that are similar to your books? There's a lot of mob books out there, but most of them are like mob romances and things like that. And my book has romance in it and because you have the girls and you have the the mob princesses and the gang princesses and things like that. So there are books out there that are like that. And then there are books out there by, I think it's Ice Pick Slim, who writes about the inner city and black people and that kind of like gang life, drug dealer, things like that. But my book is a bit different than any of those because it like mixes all of that into one story. So it's not really a mob story and it's not really a gang life story because they're moving out of those worlds into international criminals. They're becoming international criminals. So they don't stick to, Nicky like sticks to the mob because that's what his desires are to become the godfather and to become a commissioner and all that kind of stuff in the mob. But Morris, Bojo, his life takes him into the international criminal world because of him being arms dealer and stuff. And there's elements of the government, how the government works with the mafia and works with these crime syndicates and things like that to get what they want out of life. When you say, are there books like mine? There are books that might touch on different parts of that storyline and different things, but my book goes beyond and and further than anything I, I ever read. And it's set in modern times, not... Yeah, 